Hi everyone. Good to see you. How are we all doing? Um, so, I am trying out my first off-road on my new 2022 Sherman Max. Hopefully you can hear me. I've got the wireless mic and the, and the cat on here attached to the 360. <laughs> Um, and we'll see how it goes, see how the audio comes out as well. Um, I had, it's not my first ride, I've only put about 30 miles on so far since getting it last weekend, but this is kind of my initial impressions video. Um, it's too early for a review, so anyone, personally I think you need to put a good couple hundred miles or maybe even 500 before you review a wheel and then a little bit after, a bit like Speedy Feet does. They put like, you know, a, a certain amount on before they kind of have your conclusions. What I can say is, so I went out on a, a bit of a ride. Let me just get my mirror up. Because this one has got a lot of cyclists that use this. Bargain off of Amazon for six quid. Um, but I went, uh, I went along uh, the Cambridge busway that I normally uh, do if I want to sort of try out a new wheel or get a bit familiar and, and it's nice and flat and smooth and it's, it's like 15 miles of a nice smooth tarmac and it gives you a good feel for the wheel. So me and Colin went out yesterday after I finished work and I, I was blown away uh, by this wheel. Now, unfortunately, I, I didn't get any footage because um, I stupidly left this in the car, um, my, my camera, but um, not only was it a damn bit of fun and like the weather was gorgeous like it is at the moment, um, I hit my new top speed of 32 miles an hour. Um, I'll put a screenshot up here of, you know, my readout from Darkness Bot, wherever it is on the screen, it'd be somewhere up there. And um, what I will say, because I, 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 I've not tried the normal Sherman. I'm just going to put it out there. So my my normal wheel is a RS19 high speed, and um, that, even though it's not the high torque version, has always got plenty of torque for me. What I will say with this one, I got up to my normal sort of 25 uh, mark really quickly and with little effort. Um, I also hit that 30, 31 without little effort. And when I just pushed that a little bit more to get it to 32, it wasn't, it didn't take a lot. There was hardly any leaning. I kind of lent more with my knees and my, uh, my legs. Um, just really, really impressive. I mean, the um, the stability of this. I'm, now I'm still, I'm still kind of learning this wheel, um, so I'm, I'm by no means an expert, and um, so I've got my, I put my initial pads on, oh sorry, I put the stock pads on that came with it, and I didn't like those, so I've, I've swapped them over to my Grizzler pads, let's just get past this uh, runner. Um, and as um, soon as I got my Grizzler pads on, it was so much better and so much more control. I still, tr just trying to kind of find the right placement, I think, on these, uh, on the Sherman. I had them just right on my RS. Um, and uh, yeah, we just, I just need to sort of get the right, the right placement, basically. But what I wanted to do today, let's just get on the grass, because this, um, Sandy stuff is a bit dicey up here. So, some, when it gets um, basically when this this path it gets really warm and hot, it some of it turns to a bit more sort of sandy stuff. So um, can be a bit slippery. But yeah, so when I put the pads on, put my grizzle pads on, um, I got a little bit of wobble yesterday. <clears throat> um, but again, I think that's down to foot placement, different pedals. I've got spike pedals on my RS. Um, so it's just finding, finding those things, literally finding your feet. 
Um, so I'm, I'm sort of doing all that stuff at the moment and just trying to get a get a good feel for the wheel. I'm not I'm not speeding along here today, um, but you know it's a, it's a nice day, so it's a good cruise. And I wanted to see what this is like um, off road because my RS is really nimble, but this is planted and nimble, even though it's a heavy wheel. Um, those that don't own a Sherman, um, it's 39 kilos, whereas the RS was 29 or 27. So it's a lot heavier. So I looked at his video setting up the initial Sherman and kind of had a look at some of the settings because they they're not very clear if you get this for the first time. Things like also transport mode. Transport mode is, uh, I didn't know, like on my RS, it, it like had an actual mode. You press it like X amount of times and then it takes it out and that sort of stuff. With this one, with the Sherman Max and probably the Sherman, I assume, is that you have to plug the power in and then take it out and then that unlocks it. So it's quite simple. The other thing that I've noticed as well is that with this, it doesn't have a kill, uh, spin, spin kill switch, I don't think, uh, unless I haven't found it. Um, let me know in the comments below if that's wrong and where it is, what it is, but uh, I, I just didn't seem to be in that you have to turn it off if you want to kind of lift it up and carry it without the wheel spinning. So um, that's, that's another thing, but I will say like, um, just, I, I know this, a lot of this stuff is not going to be new to those people that ride a, a Sherman, I'm sure. I mean, but the sheer, uh, I've, I've heard that the Sherman, the original Sherman, took a bit to get going. This thing just doesn't, it just, it just wants to go. The sheer torque on this thing is insane. Um, sturdy wise, obviously like the Sherman, battery packs kind of all the way down each side. So RS19 had them at the top, so it's, it comes across as less stable, but more nimble. But I, I was really thinking that this wouldn't be as nimble as it is, um, but it, to me, it feels almost as nimble as the RS19 um, when you're on it. When you're off it, obviously, it's a very heavy wheel. Um, but so far, so good. But so far, I'm absolutely loving it. The question is, will this actually replace my RS19? So, you know, this this um, this was bought uh, new from E-Rides. So big shout out to Afiz, uh, Afiz and Emily at E-Rides. Thank you very much. Brilliant service. Thank you for accommodating me, coming and collecting it at Fully Charged, um, fully charged Live. Um, I have, and again, you know, I've, I've got an affiliate link like everyone seems to have. Um, there's, a, there's a coupon, I think it's like 5% off or something like that. You put that in on checkout. So if you want to just save yourself a bit of money at E-Rides, check that out. There's also another one for the Eastgate shop and stuff like that. So just have a look at those if they interest you. Again, it gives me a little bit of money back into the channel, but you know, hopefully it supports you guys. If you want to buy something, can you want to save a bit of money? Um, I, I, I was really surprised with this wheel. So I initially had my eye on this and the S20, since the fire on the S20, I didn't really want to go that route. I just didn't think it was worth it until they sorted it out and their, their reason for it didn't seem that. Uh, that valid. Um, but um, I kind of I kind of wanted I wanted something with range. Range was the big key for me. It wasn't speed, although you know saying that going going 32 the other night it seemed pretty easy. Um, so I, I tried the I, I tried the Commander at fully charged live, and I really liked it. It wasn't as heavy as what I'd thought. It, well, it was heavy, but it wasn't. Um, you know, it was really nimble. I didn't think it would be considering the weight of this and you know that sort of wheel. Um, but what it come down to, Ridge, was a bit sad, really. But 
the Commander had been reduced in price by everyone. Originally it came out at like about three and a half thousand pounds, I think it was. And that had been reduced down to three grand. But then when you look at it, it just looks, it looks cheap doesn't look you know like a, a top quality product i've got nothing against gotway personally with my rs19 but um yeah i didn't like the look of it and um, i'm still hoping i think pt are um hopefully going to lend me i had a chat with them they're going to lend me a um lend me the wheel uh, for a review so hopefully keep keep it here for a review of that um so i i reached out to to re-rides they had two of these left in stock and i bought this picked it up last sunday after a long ride on the rs19 drove it down to farnborough where fully charged was and picked it up from uh, from e-rides um and I literally uh, in that week, I think I'd only, I'd only managed that night, I sort of managed to get out for a, a tiny little sort of burn up the road, which you'd have seen the video of that of me um, on my channel. Um, and then the second time was last night to get a bit of a feel for it on the roads. And then tonight is uh, on, the, on the trails. Uh, we, we should be going to Chicksands tomorrow. So hopefully, um, we'll see if I can get some more video. There's a few of us going. So we'll see how it performs there, because that's the real, that's a real challenge. Um, so I kind of want it to get a little bit of a, I don't know, a bit of practice in, just while we're, uh, you know, just get, a, again, get a feel for the wheel. Any new wheel, it's still going to be, whew, that was a big hole. Um, it's still going to be different. It's going to be very different from, from the last one, usually, you know, you, you tend to upgrade like if it's going to add something and this one adds you know ridiculous range you know talking a hundred mile range on this thing which is insane yeah so the trolley handle is you know it's spot on um i love the ball bars on it obviously they add they add an extra weight to to the wheel which you know is obviously makes it heavy along with the battery packs just makes it a really heavy wheel but it also makes it extremely planted and like well grounded and I mean on the RS19 again I'm I've only been riding I've been riding unicycles for less than a year so you know take that take that what you will experience and all that sort of stuff this is my view well the RS19 was really maneuverable but because of the because of the battery placement um, it, it wasn't the most stable at high speed, or it was at high speed, but then when you went to brake, like, there was still wobble, even if you were good at controlling that, there was still wobble at high speeds to slow down, and even at high speeds. I mean, you know, I've seen, I've seen really good riders, like, go quick and still get, like, the wobble. So, you know, yes, it comes with foot placement and... Uh, training your, your 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 feet and your legs and all that sort of stuff so that's all part of it but it's it's not just about that um i haven't tried the light yet although i've tried it indoors but like and it looks really bright um i've slightly dipped it down because it was right ahead which isn't good like if you're coming to oncoming cars you don't want to blind people and and cars in um people in the cars But, um, I mean, speed-wise, speed, speed wise, let's, let's talk about that. I mean, I think speed-wise, uh, I know it's probably a, 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 a supposedly a, a free-spin wheel of 60 miles an hour. Um, for me, <laughs> you know, 30 to 35, I think, is my absolute max, just because I'm only starting to feel comfortable at those speeds. I don't see the need to go any quicker i know there's big people out there that disagree with that and want to do that all the power to you um i'm not i'm not interested in going ridiculously quick i know some people will say like the rs19 when i don't go quick it's like oh that's a waste of an rs19 high speed well it is what it is and i use it for what i use it so uh you know it's up to you guys
can I get on here on this wheel? That's kind of my, oh, lots of horse poo. I'm not going to run through that crap, literally. Um, that's my thoughts on the um, on the Sherman Max. Initial thoughts, like I said. Um, hopefully, I can get some more miles in it over the coming weeks, and then I'll, I'll come to you with a bit more of a a conclusive. This is really what I think after owning it and and using it. But like I said, initial impressions are very very good. Um, at the moment, I'm favouring this completely over my RS19. But we'll see, we'll see if I want to keep it or not. And I've got it dusty and dirty already. That's how my wheels generally end up. Maybe a lot worse than that because this trail is really dusty, really dirty. But yeah, I love the light on the back. Little Superman emblem, quite cool. And I love the front light. I like the fact that they're modular as well. So if they do break for whatever reason, you can just swap them out, get a new one. So that's pretty good. As you can see, got Grizzle pads on there. They were bought uh, by, from PET. So big shout out to them as well. And obviously the wheel, as you can see from me, rides.